Are you an Elvis fan? <laughs> I just like all types of music. I've got this hobby into like old records as well. So we've got Elvis, yes. we've got Buddy Holly. They're pretty rare because only a few tracks were made by Elvis oh, yes. on 78s because of course the 45 EP came in and as we know history all changed. And so collectors are desperate to get the original Elvis, the original Buddy Holly, the original rock stars of that period um, in the original form. So, if I told you they're hundred pounds, is that wow. all right? Yes. Now, will you like Elvis a bit better? <laughs> I think so. <laughs> On Buddy Holly, not quite so great, but yeah. certainly fifty or sixty pounds. Yeah. And here we go again. Bill Haley, see you later, alligator. Again, not so great. <laughs> yeah. Thirty, oh. forty pounds. Elvis is the star, and Elvis fans are something on their own. Mm. Many will die for a record like this in its original yes. form, so look after it and begin to like it. He's a great <laughs> man. Originally it just came from my grandfather, it just went down the family line really. Right. Well, if you'll let me, I'll show you what you can find out, yeah. basically by going to the local library. First of all, the watch has got a name. Simon Jones of Liverpool Street, yes. City, City of London. And if we open it up, I'm sure, being an English name, it'll have a hallmark. Now, those are the, the marks that show, usually, what it's made out of. In other words, gold, in this case, 18 carat. And there's a small crown showing that. Then, where it was hallmarked, and also the date letter. So that'll give us a date. So, here we are. We've got the hallmark book. We go, look at the marks. The mark you've got here is the crown, which is for London. It's got a very unusual looking gothic letter T. So we zip down the page and we come to 1854. Okay. Oh. And it's, it's a simple watch, but it's a very nice solid gold watch. Good quality, quite early for this sort of gentleman's pocket watch. Worth perhaps about £300. Is any idea if there would have been a chain on, on the watch? Many watches of this type did have a chain, yes. yes. And, now, hang on. Yes, I can tell. This one did. Do you know why? No. <laughs> let, let me show. Look at the bow, okay? Can you see it's worn at the top? Yeah. Now, if you just wore it in the pocket, kept it in the box by the oh, bed, yeah. it wouldn't wear. What that is, is the hook on the chain. It's been in the pocket, and it's been pulling it out, and, and it's worn the bow. So it did. Yes, it had a chain. All right? All right. Bit of detective work. <laughs>